hear that sound of the background noisy fucking neighbors hello youtube and welcome to hidden hacks this is going to be an update of my previous video which you can see by clicking right here because my project box just arrived i will make some sort of transplant and move the things from the previous box to the new one I will not get into specifics though, this will be more like a time lapse of the whole process. For a more detailed version and step by step guide, click here. First things first, I'm going to unbox the enclosure. Here we have the package with two ABS plastic electronics enclosure or project box inside. I ordered two so I have a backup just in case something goes wrong and because I don't trust my skills that much. And here they are. Nice hard plastic. This is going to be mounted or let's say placed like this on my desk. Just like the first one. This will be where the power switch is and this will be the place of the toggle switch. These two are the in and out electric or let's say power? Now let's go with electric wires. Electric wires from the speaker connecting to the switch and from the switch connecting to the outlet. These two right here will be the input and the speaker port. And the headphone port will be in the middle. Again, for a more detailed version and step by step guide, click here. Now we need to take out the wires from the first box, of course. Turning off the speaker, turning off the toggle switch, disconnecting the speaker jack and the input extension. We need to cut the wires for about 6 or 8 inches from the box so we have some slack. You might want to remove the plug before cutting wires to avoid shorts. <laughs> My UPS is crying. <laughs> How to know if you have a blown fuse? Well, there you go. I recovered it from my UPS. Luckily though, I have some stock left. Now we need to disassemble or remove the things that we need to transfer to the new box. I didn't really need to take the wires off of this switch though. I just did it because I've had an idea to add another functionality to the box to make it more versatile. But, I scrapped it, because sadly, it did not fit. Alrighty, time to make some markings and proceed to drilling and cutting stuff.
Gotta make things a bit smoother. Now that the wiring stuff is done, time for some tests. This is the extension jack from the input. This is the speaker jack. And this is the headphone jack. Again, for a more detailed version and step-by-step -step guide, click here. Now I'm going to play some music. When I move the toggle switch up, the sound will come from the speaker. Testing the power switch. When I move the toggle switch down, the sound will come from the headphone. Not sure if you can hear it though. I think I'm just going to use my portable speaker and connect an auxiliary cable to the headphone port so you guys can hear the sound better. It works! 